Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Dornath here in Joint Effort Chiropractic in White Plains. I'm here with my patient, Melinda. Melinda is, uh, is the founder and also designer for Miramay Swim. Uh, what's your website? MiramaySwim.com. Make sure to check it out. She's really great. Um, so uh, Melinda has a lot of repetitive motion. With repetitive motion, brings a lot of pain and discomfort. It's a lot of tendinitis areas. So I'll let Melinda tell you a little bit about what she's been suffering with and what we help her with. And then we'll show you kind of a sample treatment of how we treat her. So I started seeing Dr. Donat probably almost a year ago because my shoulder got really locked up. I do a lot of this over the sewing machine, kind of similar to the computer posture, but I'm really slumped over and I'm doing a lot of grasping like this over and over, holding the fabric, holding the pins. So I've been having a lot of pain in my forearm, plus I have a nerve injury, a lot of pain in my neck and in my shoulder because I'm kind of going forward and also guarding my injury. Um, and so when I came to Dr. Donath, I was totally locked up. I believe I cried through our first intake visit. Um, and over time, he's really helped me to loosen up. I have a much wider range of motion. Um, and if I come in here and I'm feeling really tight, you know, he goes through the exercises. And when I leave, I feel like I'm just standing more upright and I just can move uh, more freely and my pain goes way down. So super grateful and I'm glad you guys are here to watch. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna start. Okay, so. I specialize in a technique called ART, active release technique. And what happens with repetitive motion is muscles are supposed to glide on one another. And um, sometimes they get, through repetitive motion, bad posture, constriction of blood flow, we get micro tears in the muscles. So these muscles that are supposed to glide start getting caught, okay? They splay, they tear microscopically. Our body feels in adhesions or microscopic scar tissue and our muscles don't glide anymore. And that causes pain and dysfunction. So with ART, what we do is we, we, it's an active treatment, it's myofascial release. So let's say here are her wrist extensors. So we, we shorten them because they attach here and they attach here, okay? And then I find an area I wanna hit that feels really tight and then I tension it and then we lengthen it underneath while I do it. So uh, the analogy I like to use is a paintbrush. If I had a brand new paintbrush, I painted a wall with a brand new bristles, the paint's gonna go on real smoothly. But after a while, you get old paint chips stuck in the paintbrush, okay? And now it doesn't move so well. So what we're trying to do is we're kinda stripping the paint chips away so the muscle works again okay and that's what we do and we're going to hit a couple different muscles here this is a pronator teres a very important one just bend that below Melinda's done this before, so she kind of knows the moves and what we're doing. Good. And relax. So Melinda has a lot of kind of dysfunction in the shoulder over here. Okay, so I'm going to treat a couple different muscles here. So we're going to head back a little bit, and then down, and then reach the, so head down, and then reach across your right knee. Down, 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 down more. Good, and back, and down, reach, 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 good, go ahead, good, and then you're going to go across, and pull, 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 and then head down at the way end, good, so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing, I'm tensioning the rhomboid muscle, as she brings it across, I'm just backing it up with my other hand. Good. One more. And most patients will describe this as a good hurt. Okay, next we're going to do the supraspinatus muscle up here, one of the rotator cuffs. So she's going to start here and then go down and behind her, and then she's going to pull with the other hand, okay? Go ahead. Good. Good, one more. Great. Okay, let's go on your back face up. Slide 
Yeah, a little bit more to me. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming. OK. I want you to bring your chin and head down like to, the, to the floor. Well, it's the Push it's down against me. Right. Yeah. I don't know if we've done this one before, but Good and relax. And then push down, 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 harder. Good, relax. And again, down, down, down. Really good. So before I adjust her, I'm doing a lot of active release technique. I'm treating different muscles, trying to get any myofascial adhesions to be, get, get them more unrestricted and move properly so the muscles can glide on one another. Not all chiropractors do this technique, but obviously I'm biased. I think it's pretty good. Um, patients seem to like it. It helps people get better faster. Um, we're into getting a lot of pain relief very quickly here, not needing so many treatments. Oops, I'm sorry. We're still, still getting used to treating people with masks on. Obviously not the easiest thing in the world, but got to do what you got to do. Head back a little bit. Again, with Melinda, her whole left side is just really, really scarred up. And, you know, she can now go several weeks without treatment, but um, there's a lot going on. Now we're in her upper trapezius muscles. You want to come a little closer? You can focus on a little bit and see what I'm doing here. Come, stand. come, come on top so you can see this angle. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Feels good. And now I'm going to do something called nerve flossing. Relax on the other side too. Okay, relax. I'm going to adjust her neck. So I'm looking for. I'm feeling around, feeling joints, pushing up against them, palpating. Um, they should have some, some play, some springiness to them. So like when I feel it's stuck, I know it hurts her. Like I can tell where. And so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to adjust her. So when I adjust the left side, I'm going to just bring her to the end range where I feel like it's stuck. And she's not relaxed. <laughs> All right. That was good. Search size for me. That, you feel that? Oh, yeah. yeah, jammed yeah. up pretty good. So just relax more. Well, Perfect. I didn't even mention before about how I used to get like four headaches a week before I started with you, and now I get zero. It's absolutely incredible. Like I've been like that for years, and now I don't get them. Thank God. Yeah, so a lot of people don't realize a lot of headaches come from neck pain and neck issues. And so Melinda had a lot, a lot of tension in her jaw and in the back of her head here. And uh, yeah, thank God she's had got rid of her headaches. So, okay, Melinda, let's go on your stomach now. Take your time. I'm going to get a piece of paper for your face. Okay, face down. Again, I'm kind of feeling for joints that feel stuck to me. And put a, a really, really strong uh, push into her. So take a deep breath. And let it all out. Keep going. Relax it. Perfect. Yeah, let's adjust your low back. Yeah, let's, let's adjust your low back first. So, yeah, okay. So go on your side, face me. Okay. Let me, I'm going to take your hand this way. So when, oh, yeah? Never. Okay. Okay. So shift your bottom hip up towards me. Like, yeah, that's good. 
like that. Okay? Good. Give me your hands again. Okay, other side. Yeah. So you, I've never done that to you, huh? Never. Yeah. yeah usually, it's usually your upper. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want to do the Y shaft or leave? That's, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. good. Okay. Good. So come on up when you're ready. Let's show them how to get it properly. Yes. I always, something I learned a long time ago from dance class, but yeah, super helpful. Good. All right. So that was your, uh, that was your typical visit here. Um, and um, I'm glad you got to join with us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.